Hi, kids. How are you? What's up, yeah, good. Great bookshelf. Oh, thank you. I, I got it on Amazon. It's a backdrop. 14 bucks. Perfect. Nice color coordination. I know. Pastel books. Uh, I love this movie. I, I want to tell you, I'm a big fan of, of, of comedies and Halloween. And uh, some of my favorite movies are things like Once Bitten and, uh, and uh, stuff like that. This fits right into that category. Was uh, I'll start with, with Lucy. It, was this fun to make? Oh, it was so much fun. I love the comedy in it. And I think Debbie is one of the funniest people I've ever met. And just, <laughs> she brought out like the joy in me in all the scenes. And yeah, I, that was my favorite thing was that this vampire film, which is thrilling and action and this wild ride through LA has so much comedy in it. And that I think with George and Debbie and I, our dynamic between us really brought out the humor in each other. Debbie, is it hard to film in a limo? <laughs> um, originally, the script was a lot more in the limo and uh, taking out the middle seats and putting those neon lights in there. Adam had such a good vision and our director of photography, Eben, was amazing. Our production designer was amazing. And I think they shot it in a way that kept it alive. I think on the page, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of just two people in the back of a car and um, and the way that they used mirrors and the way that they used lights. And I mean, it was quite fun. Uh, the only problem was um, there's a scene in which we smoke something in the car and it sort of is this like herbal whatever. And it has quite a lingering smell, but we shot that very early on. It was one of the first things we shot. So for the next month of being in that car, the entire interior of the car smelled like that plus like the fake champagne that was spilled plus like the fake blood and it just became this cacophony to the senses that should be the 19th cent that should have been the 19th perfume <laughs> um, <laughs> fake weed and blood wow i i never want to go near that that should be uh, in the next contract none of that um none of that you have yeah. to wash the car every day we're on a boat we just a lot of open air maybe it's a convertible <laughs> yeah uh, these two characters, you know, they've been friends forever, you know, obviously in the film. Were you guys fast friends during uh, during the filming of this? When we met, there was a joke that happened where it was like, oh, we, that went deep fast. <laughs> <laughs> it happened really fast for us. And it was, I think, crucial, um, obviously, because the stakes for both of our characters are so intertwined with each other and with this relationship. But yeah, I, I couldn't have asked for a better scene partner. And I was slightly familiar with your work going into it, but didn't know you as a person. And all you just hope that the person's not a dick. Like you just hope that the person's like cool and down to go on the process. And yeah. feel like I felt so lucky working with Debbie and just how committed she is to the work and was always so prepared and made it so easy and so much fun. Like both would be killing it as an actor. And then in the times between takes, like making everyone laugh and have a great time in the middle of the night in these like weird locations in New Orleans. It gets as, weird. After a few weeks of night shoots, it gets weird. <laughs> as, as we wrap up our interview, I'm going to ask each of you quickly, what are they going to take away with them? I think people will take away a sense of joy, fun, a little bit of like that adrenaline hit of like going on a, a roller coaster, as well as, the some compassion yeah Debbie likewise I hope that they find those things I think it's fun it's you know it's bright and the music's amazing that's such a, a a ride and such a visceral sort of moment of celebration especially after the last year and a half of being so sort of withdrawn and it being such a scary time. This is a real cathartic release in every way and it's full saturation and full send. Um, and it also, yeah, compassion is great. I think it's about humanity and it, it, most of my favorite projects challenge you morally and you go, I'm rooting for this guy and it's breaking bad and, and he's doing these bad things and it's Dexter. And, um, so this is a sort of movie where, um, I think you have to really cut through the actions and the worlds and what we should believe and and look at the heart and the impact of what's happening. And hopefully they take this into our, our real lives as well. I want to thank you both for for this time. I hope that you guys go to whatever Halloween parties dressed as your characters from this. 
that would be just uh, a I'll lovely. go with Zoe. Actually, I did dress as Benny to the wrap party. I wore the suit with the <laughs> Nike blazers. <laughs> it was excellent. She really nailed it. Hey, thank you guys both. I appreciate your time. Thank, thank you. you.